Hello Mila, hello Jack, hello everyone else who's watching. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is from Rhubarb and Custard and it is When Rhubarb's Trousers Flew. It was early in the morning and Rhubarb was hard at work, measuring, hammering and smoothing things down. What on earth are you doing? asked Custard sliding off his fence to get a closer look. I'm getting rid of all the bumps and making everything smooth. Don't you mean rough, as you dogs say, sniggered Custard. My dear cat, don't you know it's cool to be smooth, said Rhubarb. And with that, he strutted off to the shed, followed by Mouse, who was carrying a fur dryer. That smooth-talking old dog, Custard grumbled, slipping over to Moggy Malone and Poodle Princess as they prepared for their tea-time dance show. Custard, my dear, can you pass me the fur dryer? asked Moggy. I can't. Rhubarb's got it in the shed, muttered Custard. Moggy flew into a terrible artistic rage. What does he think he's doing? she shrieked. That's the dressing up box theatre's property. I want it back. And she hammered on the shed until it shook. Without warning, a siren blared and a voice announced, Please stand back. Testing for Rhubarb's latest invention is about to begin. Suddenly, the shed door swung open and out swooped Rhubarb. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present my all-new hover trousers. Rhubarb's new invention was powered by the puff from Moggy's fur dryer. Everyone watched, amazed, as he glided across the garden. Mouse gave his guitar a Spanish strum, and Rhubarb began his flamenco dance through the air. All the animals gathered round and gawked at Rhubarb's glorious machine. Walking was clearly a thing of the past. Poodle Princess joined in the dance, her paws held high as the music played faster and faster. They shimmied, they span, and they cha 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 The crowd went wild. With all the excitement, Rhubarb felt like he was flying, and then he was. The fur dryer's controls hit full power, catapulting him into the sky. Rhubarb rose upwards over the tops of trees and clouds. His fans roared with excitement until... With a terrible crash, the show was over. I'm in another world, thought Rhubarb. I landed perfectly. Everyone loves my new invention. And he presented a crushed rose to Poodle Princess. Oh, Rhubarb, darling, she cooed. As Rhubarb fainted into Poodle Princess's arms, the shed door flew open. Look, everyone, it's amazing. I think I've perfected the hover shed, cried Mouse. But where's my fur dryer? wailed Moggy. The end. Goodbye, Mila. Goodbye, Jack. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.